Hello, it's Claudio, and in this video we will calculate the standard deviation of a dataset in Python. The standard deviation tells how much a set of data deviates from its mean. It is a measure of how spread out a given set of data is. The more spread out, the higher the standard deviation. With a low standard deviation, most data is distributed around the mean. On the other side, a high standard deviation tells that data is distributed over a wider range of values. Let's create a pandas data frame that contains historical data for Amazon stocks in a three month period. The data comes from Yahoo Finance and is in CSV format. Here you can see the same data inside the CSV file and our analysis will just focus on the close price. The file.csv is in the same directory of our Python program. This is how we can create the data frame from the data. And here is the pandas data frame we have created from the CSV file. If you want to see the full data in the data frame, you can use the to underscore string function. And now let's calculate the standard deviation of the data frame using the std function. In the output, you can see the standard deviation for every column in the data frame. Now, let's move our focus to one of the columns in the data frame, the close column. To calculate the standard deviation of the close column, you have two options. I personally prefer the first one. Also, if you want to calculate the mean for the same column with pandas, you can use the mean function. Later on, we will use the mean together with the standard deviation to get another piece of data for your analysis. Now, we will refactor our code to create a generic function that returns a data frame from a CSV file. Let's also write a generic print statement that shows mean and standard deviation for a given stock. Notice that the stock variable is used to generate the name of the CSV file and it's also used to print the name of the stock in the final message. Also, we are using the Python string format method to print our message. Now, I would like to make our code work for an arbitrary number of stocks. To do that, we need to make a few changes. The code that prints the mean and the standard deviation 
will become a function that we can call for each stock. Nothing will change in the logic of our code compared to the current code. We are just refactoring it to make it more flexible. So let's start by adding a function called get underscore stats. What kind of Python data type do you think this function returns? The function returns a tuple, where the first element is the mean and the second element is the standard deviation. And now that we have the data we need in the tuple, we can print the same message as before. Before you continue with this tutorial, run it on your local machine and make sure it works as expected. I want to improve our program so it can calculate the standard deviation of the close price for three different stocks, Amazon, Google and Facebook. You can simply update the code to use a for loop that goes through each one of the stocks stored in a Python list. The error we are seeing is caused by the fact that we don't have CSV files for Google and Facebook. Let's download them now. You can now compare the three stocks using the standard deviation. This doesn't give us enough information to understand which stock has performed the best, but at least is a starting point to analyze our data. An additional statistical metric that can help us compare the three stocks is the coefficient of variation. The coefficient of variation is the ratio between the standard deviation and the mean. Let's implement it in our code. We could print the coefficient of variation as a ratio between the standard deviation and the mean directly in the final print statement. But instead we will calculate it inside the get underscore stats function because this function will be the place where we calculate all the metrics that we will need also in the future. And then we can add the coefficient of variation to the print statement. The NumPy module also allows to calculate the standard deviation of a dataset. Let's calculate the standard deviation for Amazon closed prices in both ways to see if there is any difference between the two. You would expect to see the same value considering that the standard deviation should be based on a standard formula. Here is the standard deviation calculated using pandas.
And here is the standard deviation calculated using NumPy. The two values are similar, but they are not the same. The pandas documentation says that the standard deviation is normalized by n-1 by default. Instead, according to the NumPy documentation, the standard deviation is calculated based on a divisor equal to n minus DDoF, where the default value for DDoF is zero. This means that NumPy standard deviation is normalized by n by default. DDoF stands for delta degrees of freedom. Let's update the NumPy expression and pass as parameter a DDoF equal to one. This time the value is the same returned by pandas. Let's take the dataset for the Amazon stock. We will plot all the values using matplotlib and we will also show how data points relate to the mean. We have centered the graph based on the minimum and maximum of the closed data points. We can also show how many data points fall within one or two standard deviations from the mean. Let's do that by adding the following lines before plt.show. And this is the final graph. Now you also know how to plot data points, mean and standard deviation using matplotlib. I hope you found this video useful. Give it a like if you did. I release Python tutorials weekly. So subscribe to Codefather to continue developing your Python knowledge. Also, in the description below, I will include a link where you can download the full source code for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.